Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome to the first day of summer. Isn't it beautiful? Did you realize as time flies that we just stepped into the first day of summer? Well, if you are anywhere in the California area, area you would notice because yesterday was scorching 99 degrees and some places it was more than that so this heat this warmth this summer it's like blossoming i love to call it a blossoming and um, so what does this summer bring for you it brings a sense of freedom no school travel time uh, ho- uh it's like vacation time family time children time school is out and everywhere you go it's like there is a whole feeling of refreshed and it's fresh it's beginning it's children it's everything but how many of us truly feel this and when we think about it None, none of us um, think of, okay, today is summer, today is spring, today is winter, and yet it's where the seeds are planted, when the seeds are planted. It's like farmers who plant the seed. There is a whole season for it, right? When it is planted, when it gets harvested, when it blooms and even winter time when everything goes into hibernation right so we come alive summertime the sun is bright it's shining yes it is hot but we already know it's coming and yet this change not only for the season realizing that when it is hot there are so many people who cannot deal with the heat and they complain with the heat and there's people who cannot deal with the rain and they complain about the rain and being in a gloomy time and yet it's not about the season the seasons will always be there the heat is always there the rain if you are in the Seattle area or in a rainy climate please expect the rain so is it the season we complain about the heat that we complain about or is it we complain so I think it is humans it is us that we have not learned how to adjust and adapt with certain things and so many of us really complain about just about anything when it's hot we complain when it's cold we complain when it's rainy we complain and yet in the summer heat and everything we ask for rain we want water right so why am i talking about all this good question welcome to heal talk tuesdays with lisa I'm your expert hypnotherapist and what I do is shift you go from pain to gain and what does that mean that means when we are in the complaint mode when we are in that negative mode when we feel powerless or insecure or you know it's constantly this deprived or depressed or we can't see the bright side of everything to a point that you can see the greatness in so much more that you feel more grateful to everything that is around you because when it's hot and you're asking for rain to remember when it's cold and rainy this is what you wanted maybe not every day but so much of who you are and for so many reasons in life I believe that we are able to shift we are she able to shift and appreciate the things of what surround us 
what is the power within us and the people who either tell you otherwise or you've heard growing up all the things that you have come to believe you know had a client yesterday and said you know in life I've grown up with my parents telling me I can't do this I can't do that and that I will not amount to anything and it's so depressing to be there all the time when I have I have been feeling as if I am nobody I don't believe in myself and I said so exactly what is it that you do she said I'm a nurse I am a nurse and I work with a company that my parents have uh, it's their company and at that very moment, I turned around and I said, Hi, Jasmine. Human complains about everything. <laughs> yes, and Anita. Hello, Anita. Um, and I said, so you are a nurse. You work for a company that it's your parent, family's company. And you're saying that you have believed in what they say and amounted to nothing. And yet you studied you went to nursing school you got the you did you passed the test you got your degree you work in a company that it's your parents and I said do you get a salary she said yes and I said so you also get a salary working in that company and you thought until now that they told you you amount to nothing and here you are a registered nurse who did all this for you and she looked at me puzzled as if I am asking her a question she had never even pondered or thought about and she said of course I did and I said did they take the test for you of course not I did did they go to school for you no so what parts of what they said did you believe well, that I don't matter, that I'm not worthy. And I said, and yet, there is a part of you that has gone beyond what they said and your power within yourself, your abilities, your own gifts, your own tenacity, your own resilience has brought you to where you are. So today, you are here for what and the moment I brought that up it's for the first time she smiled she smiled because she had not given herself the kudos the thank you for the work she had done so my question to you is how often have you really given your powers away or thought you have given your powers away without realizing that you have accomplished so much you know in life we do so much we have so much and we give so much and we don't think that we have it because the grass is always greener at the other side instead of realizing the grass is only green where you water it you can have all the confidence in the in life to achieve things but when you believe in yourself very little about yourself and that's because it's not that you don't believe in yourself but you haven't turned the mirror to look at yourself it's as if you're always looking outside of that glass the window and you forgot instead of looking in the mirror to literally look in the mirror it don't look in the mirror just to put your hair up to put your makeup on to look beautiful to what other people see 
but to truly look in the mirror and see you, your own gifts, your gut feelings, everything that you have accomplished, all your experiences. And she just needed validation. That's true. We all do, no matter who we are. And I love you for all the gifts that you have, Jasmine. Everything that you give, you give, you give, and you're not realizing that how much validation that you constantly give to others and empower others, that you give as acts of service. And I know you have all the confidence just for a moment to turn around and say, thank God, this is who I am. This is who I am. I am able to give. I am grateful that I have been able to provide. And realize your gifts have been surpassed and unsurpassable because of your faith, in you and who you are. None of us are here alone. Yes, with God's faith and when we look we see that we can give more than what we thought we are able to. So for that I want you to realize ah, I have to adjust my seat I can turn around and say, all I do is therapy. All I do is come here and talk and hopefully I can make a difference in one person's life that what I have to say might be important to them. That who you are truly matters. And I literally give kudos to someone like you Jasmine that are able to achieve far greater than I thought I could and moms who have two or three children and how they juggle how they manage not only being a mother being a wife being either a wife or even a single parent there are so many who come over here and they're like, I don't know how to juggle. And I'm like, I take my hat off to you because there is no way I can even conceive the thought of doing all this. And yet somehow everyone has this bucket. They manage what's in their bucket and we get to add more into the bucket. It's like the more the bucket stretches, the more we add into it. And then we turn around and say, I'm feeling as if I am overwhelmed. I am buried. I cannot handle anymore. And yet we asked for it. We manifested. We want the children or we want the marriage. We want the career. We want the stardom. We want it. And when we have it, we turn around and say, but this is not exactly what I asked for. Well, you know what? In life, we don't get, it's like, it's not a cookie cutter of how it comes to us. It's like we ask for it and it's given to us. We didn't cut and paste what we want. So the person who wants to be really successful and be like me, I write the books, I am in so many collaborations, I want to be an author and everything. I didn't ask how I am doing, so I said yes to many things. And yes to juggling the clients, juggling the book, juggling the event, juggling this, and then getting home and then turning around and saying, I am beat. But I ask for it. So my question to you is, when you sit with yourself and you think you are overwhelmed, 
at that very moment I want you to say thank you thank you to every aspect of who you are and be grateful to all your abilities because you know it's just God does not give us more than what we can handle in life I know someone who truly when I look at her and I talk to her it's like how did you do this how did you overcome such tragedy of losing all your family literally five of our family members to come to forgive the person who massacred and killed them to be able to stand up and make a difference and come to forgiveness and teach forgiveness teach all of that to others and say if I can do it you can do it some of us cannot fathom that and when we look at it is the power is within you the power is not within anyone else just like my client who came here yesterday it's not the things your family members said or the teachers say or your peer pressure says it's what you believe within yourself that you haven't seen the gifts in you the resilience in you so what I do is shed a light I evoke everything from them you know in therapy in the the thera the psychology the therapy that they're doing there is a whole pattern that they call it uh, the Petraska method and the Petraska method which is a way of therapy is that there is the four quadrums which is the self-awareness and then there is the emotions and there is the the transitions that they are doing the transformational part and then there's the relationship and the communication so there's four quadrums they put all their clients this is where I'm taking them from this level the self-awareness which is meditation becoming aware becoming aware of all that we are part of and who we are how I feel how I think who I am every aspect all five senses so become immersed into that learning how to do the meditation self actualization right to come to connecting with all your emotions what I feel and when this happens how I connect with that how I feel about that and what are my feelings versus what other people think of me because every single person outside of you has different perceptions about you and also that comes because of their own misconceptions of who you are or their own upbringing and their way of being evaluating their own ethics and values so it might not be only about you it is about them and how they perceive what they see what they know about you and it doesn't change the facts of who you are so after she showed me that quadrums she turns around and says Lisa you do this and I said yes I do these exact things but I do it in a different way I call it the 3e e method which is evoking evoking about you evoking and shedding a light it's learning about the things that you do you feel and you want that's what we evoke we evoke our past not necessarily go into the trauma but shedding a light to understand and the heat of the summer that we're talking and you say I cannot stand this heat is what do you want we can't change the season we can change how we cope with things how we cope with the heat how we cope with the rain 
We want the rain. We need the rain. So when it feels gloomy, is it gloomy or is it just rainy? So sometimes when you feel like I am depressed and everything, if you shift the perception and say, I feel as if I'm in a funk, right? Coming to that and embracing where you are, how you feel, embracing what's happening around you instead of fighting against it because this is negative this is harsh and when we do that recognizing that the more you are able you stretch a woman who gets pregnant the body stretches to give room for the baby to grow and for those who have like twins the ones who have triplets the ones who have quadruplets this body is amazing how it stretches did she ask for it you know if it was planted she said thank you for all of it right but we come to gratefulness of this amazing way our body does. Your body does. So what happens to us is if we can shift our perception in how we come to the self-awareness, to accepting the emotions, how we emote ourselves and the words we use and becoming awareness to embracing it, and then evolving to what we want. Everything in life, from business, from personal, from wanting a, a, a car, to wanting a house, to wanting a vacation, to wanting a relationship, either with somebody else or with you. What is your goal? What do you want? Because there's always an answer the answer may not be exactly what you want that makes you feel good, but it is an answer. It is a solution. There's always a solution. We may not be happy with the solution, but the result is what we want. The solution is not the easy one. But if it gets to, you know, the ROI, the return on your investment, if that is what you want, if you want to drop 20 pounds and you have not been able in the past, I can help you shed off, release, and let go, drop that weight, emotional weight, physical weight, mental weight, that anguish, the burden, the weight that has been burdened on top of you or you took it upon yourself and you held on to it, I can help you with that. It's not the, it's not the food you eat, right? So all this comes boiling down to the heat of what? Is a, accepting and appreciating, validating yourself. And what I do best is see the whole you. Yesterday, I'm talking to someone and she said, oh, I studied NLP. Do you do NLP? You know, I studied NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, and how the body languages, how my clients, the way they sit, hmm? the way they tap, the way they sit in a corner of the recliner instead of the full chair, the way their um, chin or their lips starts moving, or when they are going into a state of relaxation and they close their eyes, this comfort comes and their eye catalepsy as when I ask them to imagine something, I see their eye movement ever so gently and when I in ask them to respond to me either with uh, their fingers which is I, um, the idio uh, response so techniques 
believe me, I've been doing this for 21 years. Hypnosis is a modality. It is a method. It is a tool. It is a technique. So is NLP. So is timeline therapy. So is Petraska. So is Gestalt. Those are all modalities. We can use different modalities to help our client, to help you get where you want. But my first question is, what do you want? How do you want to feel? How do you see yourself six months from now, a year from now? What do you want? So if somebody wants a car, I ask them, what kind of a car? I want a fast car, a fast car. A fast car can be a Jaguar, a fast car can be a Hyundai, a fast car can be a Ferrari. What do you want? Well, I want a Ferrari. Really? Can you afford a, a Ferrari today? No. How fast do you want to go? Where do you want to travel? If you are in the streets of Glendale, where I am, there's all kinds of fast cars. It's not the car, it's the driver that needs to know the, the power of the car, how to maneuver the car, how to push the car and be in control of the car. So if you are not a good driver, there's no way anyone, well, the seller will give you any car you want, but are you gonna be comfortable in driving a Ferrari or it's going to be ruined. So learn how to drive a car, learn how to maneuver a car, and park the car with one hand, do everything. When you feel proficient, then you can upgrade to everything that you want. In life, we have so much ability it's not the outside, it's not the car, it's the driver. You know, I, for the third time, I went to see Top Gun. <laughs> not because of Tom Cruise, but because of the meaning in the movie. So what does this say? I watch something for learning something from it. I watch movies to see the meaning behind it because in every movie, in every person, in every personality, we have it all. We have the hero within us. We have the villain within us. We have the power within us. We have the insecure. There is not a single person in this world does not have this much of insecurity with them or has not felt downsized or told by someone that you are not going to amount to something in their life or they didn't believe that I don't have what they have, that there is not enough competition. So Top Gun shows you teamwork it shows friendship it gives honor system it gives everything that we have in us and it's not only movies it's not soap operas it's not everything we are that movie you are everything every book story you read has it you are that story. And I want you to remember that. You are everything. Your life is, this is your life. It is your story. And when you think about it, and you think about your childhood, and if you can go and sit next to the person, and instead of saying, I was this, I want you to remember you are exactly that same person yes life for some it's been great and for others they look back and say 
you know, life has really changed and I am not where I thought I was to be. And yet you are exactly where you are supposed to be. Because if it was not because of you, the ones that you are helping, the ones you are caring for, the ones that you are empowering, teaching, giving of service, would not be grateful to you. They are here. They are making it because of you. They are. You are exactly where you are supposed to be, my dear. Because there are so many who rely upon you. And I know that you want to say, what about me? What about my dreams? What about my wants? I too want to travel to do this. So the 3E event that I put together is exactly for this. It's a journey within. So we gather, we come together to empower one another. When I say women coming together, collaborating, and giving each other this energy of saying, you know what, thanks to you, thank you. I see you, I see your power. I see you for who you are and for the next two days I am here to stand by you, to sit next to you and together we can do this and finding like-minded people and realizing you are never alone. Maybe learning from the expert speakers how to let go of one thing, how to learn to understand, how to show up, how to stand up for yourself, how to make certain changes in your life, how to declutter your home space or your body space or your mind space. There are so many tools and techniques you will learn from the speakers and yet the healing exercises that we are going to do that you will feel, oh my God, I think just like yesterday, the client who was sitting like this clamored in defense mode. By the time she left, she says, may I get a hug? I feel like a whole weight has lifted off of me. Today, I got to see me. And that's what we do at the 3E event. That's what happens at the heal within. You get to heal inside. So, Jasmine says, please no more. <laughs> no more. I don't want any more. Um, yes. So many of us say, I don't want any more. Okay. Instead of saying, I don't want any more, what do you want? What do you want? And be very comfortable by saying the things you want with no judgment, no guilt, no shame, because you too deserve to live. You too deserve everything. And when you ask for it, I want you to know this, God does give. We usually get what we ask for. So today, sit with yourself and be grateful for everything that you have, you have been given to, and realize everything that you are grateful for has been for you. And today you can turn around and say, Starting today, this is what I want. 
and within the next six months this is where I will be and within so much we get what we ask for I know it's hard to fathom but that's what faith is our subconscious mind hears everything and will do and give us everything it's planted just like a farmer you plant the good seed for the grass to grow and the poison which one will grow faster the one we water it the one that pours rain and gets all the nourishment so today be clear what is it that I want what do I desire what do I want to feel and start validating your decisions and it's okay so this beautiful heat of the summer let's welcome the heat let's welcome this time that so many are taking vacations children are out of school and everything that is happening around us being grateful for living and being part of this beautiful world I'm not saying there is nothing negative out there for there is a lot but what is the one thing you can do for yourself for your immediate family for your friends for your colleagues by saying yes to you and making a difference when we say harness your power within is to validate to appreciate and to accept yourself so that you can give and help others with the rippling effect trust your gut trust yourself stand in front of the mirror and instead of saying it's so bad I don't want to look you wink and you remember the little girl the young man and you say let's get at it it's time to play and put the music on say hello to you say hello to you and with that I'll see you next week. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye Jasmine. Bye Adrian. Bye Anita. And everyone is watching here. So make sure you subscribe, push the button, subscribe to our Heel Talk Tuesdays and yes sign up to the 3e event because for two days you're going to have the most amazing time of your life see you next week enjoy the heat i know i will thank you for being here if you want to check out some of the testimonials that i've got click right here but if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.